So if we are united just in the sense that there is something that's greater than us, we don't know who, how the sky got there. I know the science says it all exploded and it just happens to provide for everything in nature. But even with the Big Bang, and if you want to believe that, there's still something behind that, even if you want to believe that. Because the science can't disprove God. So they just don't tell you that. They just push the Big Bang thing. So if everybody could at least just say, you know what, there is something greater than us. And it, it's found in the historical evidence of the Bible. If we just can, you know, at least say there's a God, there's something greater. There's a creator, creator. Stick to whatever's easy. Keep it simple. Start there. If we are united there, then we will have a moral foundation and it will automatically put country first. This idea that unless you follow, um, if you all, everybody in a, in a movement, patriot, liberal, whatever, has to agree with every single person in that movement is ridiculous. And to say then, well, you're, you're all fighting and you're, well, that's part of, that's part of being alive. I mean, that's part of, um, growing, learning, expanding. I mean, you, if, if you hear people say, well, no, it's falling apart now because, you know, the patriot movement is divided, well, that's, that's a good thing. You know why? Because people are thinking. It's when you're not thinking and you're staying together all the time, like the, 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 the far left does, no matter what the cost, sticking together like that and not thinking, that gets you into the radicalism. So... It's okay for there to be some infighting. But if we at least come together that there is a creator, something greater than us, then the moral foundation will stay intact. There, I, there's many people that disagree with me about Flynn. That's okay. You know why? Because the people that disagree with me, we, we agree on God. We may not agree on, on denominations, the denominations, like get rid of all the denominations because that's what's caused a lot of the confusion and the hurting. But even then, if we disagree on Flint and we disagree on the denominations, if we at least are united, and we are people in the Patriot Movement, almost all of them agree that there is something greater than us. We can argue about the denominations. We can argue about man, whether we trust this one or that one and still be united. Because as long as we're united in God, that yes, there is a God, then we will have a moral foundation intact. And that will be an automatic that countries put first. It's that simple. But you know, the hurting comes in when everybody says, well, now you're all divided and it's, it's stop it, just stop it, stop that foolishness. Seriously, it, the Israelites, they didn't. They, they depended on Moses. That was Old Testament, though, to before Jesus, and God used Moses and spoke uh, through Moses to talk to the Israelites. So, what would happen when Moses would go away? The Israelites would start building golden calves because they he, they thought that Moses abandoned them and God abandoned them. So. Back then, they did depend on Moses. I mean, could you imagine if Moses had been corrupted by, you know, like your Obamas and stuff? He would have really led them astray, huh? But you, we don't need to do that now because we came after Christ. So following Christ's death, death, the helper came, the Holy Spirit. If you just try to connect to that, and it, or at the very least, just believe in God. But if you connect to that Holy Spirit, you'll know who you should. The more you engage with that, the more you will be able to know. Yeah, you'll recognize things that maybe other people don't recognize. Um, and it doesn't mean uh, that there's something wrong with them, but it's just things that you would not know if unless you're connected to that spirit. And you just have to nurture the relationship. I know I've said it a million times today, but that, that's all you have to do. But even if you don't want to do that, at least if you can, we all agree that there is a creator. Start there. 
then we will stay united because we will, will at least be united. I, I think most everybody would be with a moral foundation intact. It's when people want you to be united in government or united in man that you get led astray and hurting starts. This is how far, far we have fallen morally. Uh, and maybe people have heard of this furries. I've never heard of this. Okay, so some whole sexual thing with the uh, the young millennials. It, it's this Z thing. Okay, and, and they dress up like uh, their their spirit animal, literally. And and then it, so this Z thing is this one can have sex with this one, and this one can have sex with this one, and this one can have sex with this one, but this one and this one can't have sex. I, I, I talk about fucking crazy. I mean, it's just nuts. I mean, I had, I didn't want to learn about this. I would have been fine never knowing about it, but I had to know about it because, you know, that's the joys of being a mental health nurse. And, but when I have, I'm hearing somebody say that, you know, like their collar has some sort of almost religious special meaning to them. And then, you know, you have fallen as a country morally. So we will be putting country first when we put God first, because when we put God first, then we put the moral foundation back in place and we're good.